Welcome back to Deal Unboxing. TP-Link has one of the best Wi-Fi, seven routers, or mesh systems in the market. And today we are going to review their latest affordable Wi-Fi 7 mesh system called TP-Link Deco B5000 Dual Band Wi-Fi 7 Mesh System. So in this review, we are going to do the Wi-Fi speed and coverage test to see if TP-Link at $299 is the best affordable Wi-Fi 7 mesh system in the market. So let's first do an unboxing and see its contents. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems comes with some quick start guides, power adapters for each unit, and an Ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. It is a dual band Wi-Fi 7 MU MIMO, OFDMA, MLO, seamless AI roaming, 240 MHz channel, multi-RUS, 4K cam, wireless and wired backhaul, four streams, connects up to 150 devices, covers up to 6,600 square feet, and works with Alexa and Google Assistant. Now let's look at the ports. There are two times 2.5 gigabits per second LAN or WAN ports on each unit, WPS button and power connection. It supports total five gigabits per second bandwidth and following is the breakdown. 5G supports 4,324 megabits per second and 2.4G supports 688 megabits per second. Overall, the build quality is great and I really like the case design. It is easy to integrate into any home environment and plenty of ventilation helps the system to stay cool under heavy workloads. Now let's do some performance, coverage, and speed tests. So we place the Wi-Fi 7 mesh system in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we used an Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 card, which is the fastest Wi-Fi client card available in the market and it is also backward compatible with Wi-Fi 6E devices. It will help us get the full potential of the TP-Link mesh performance. We are also using a 10 gig ethernet wired computer as an open speed test server, which is hosted locally to measure the performance of the Wi-Fi routers and mesh systems. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. We tested connections in extreme corners in each floor of the house. Since Wi-Fi 7 mesh offers MLO capability, we conducted tests with MLO enabled and two tests with MLO disabled to compare them both and see if it makes any difference. If you are not familiar with MLO, it is a new capability offered by Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems or routers. It enabled devices to simultaneously send and receive data. Also, Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 client card is capable of MLO, we also made sure we have AXEHT enabled in the Wi-Fi card configuration. Let's review the results. First location, which is within five feet from the main Wi-Fi, seven mesh unit in the basement, we achieve full one gigabit per second for download and upload Wi-Fi speeds without MLO enabled and 1.07 gigabits per second for both upload and download with MLO enabled. So definitely MLO has better performance with close range test, excellent start. Next, we moved all the way to the left corner in the basement. And here we still achieved an average of 400 megabits per second for both upload and download without MLO enabled and an impressive average 484 megabits per second download and upload with MLO enabled. Next on the main floor to the left side of the house, we achieved a 310 megabits per second speeds without MLO enabled and 440 megabits per second with MLO enabled. Moving on to the right side, we achieved an average 385 megabits per second without MLO enabled and 440 megabits per second average with MLO enabled. Again, one of the best scores for this category. Moving on to the first floor, to the left side, we achieved 353 megabits per second without MLO enabled and 325 megabits per second with MLO enabled. Here we first see MLO is not performing as well as dedicated 6G wireless backhaul connection. Impressive results, no doubt, but interesting outcome comparing both numbers. Then we moved to the right side and achieved 342 megabits per second without MLO enabled and 349 megabits per second with MLO enabled. Again, these are the great scores for this category. So for the final test, we moved to garage and we achieved an impressive 265 megabits per second average without MLO enabled and 324 megabits per second average with MLO enabled. Again, these are great results for this category. So what we learned from this performance review is that MLO is an excellent speeds for close or mid range, but 6G dedicated backhaul shines at long range and produce great results. In order to take advantage of the MLO option, you need to have an MLO capable client 
where 6G backhaul is better for general or legacy wireless clients like Wi-Fi 6E and 6 or any 5G capable devices. In the next test, we are using 10 GBE NAS connected to 2.5 GBE network port of the Wi-Fi 7 main mesh unit and using Wi-Fi 7 card-based laptop, we were able to achieve full 2.4 gig wireless transfer speeds. Great results. Now let's talk about setting up TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. Setup was a very easy three-step process. All you have to do is download the TP-Link app to your Android or iOS device. Connect your router to your modem, or if you have FiOS with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to your Ethernet cable, and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup. There are a lot of settings available to configure using the TP-Link's Deco app. Main page of the app shows you Wi-Fi settings, guest network. Then you have the complete internet to mesh units topology, and it shows everything looks good and connections between mesh units are strong. TP-Link offers great parental controls and other great security features and reports to have better control over your Wi-Fi. Advanced Wi-Fi settings allows you to configure 2.4 gig and 5 gig networks with different SSIDs and password, and even set their security and channels configuration separately, which is a huge plus in my opinion. You also have an option to configure MLO network with all network bands combined or choose different combinations to your liking. There are all great options in the TP-Link Deco app for general or advanced users. Let's do the final summary. TP-Link Deco B5000 Dual Band Wi-Fi 7 Mesh System performed excellent in this review. The Wi-Fi 7 Mesh System offers fastest speeds over 5,000 square feet. In our test, and I have full confidence it will perform as good over 6,000 square feet coverage as advertised. We were able to get the great speeds in every corner of the house and even in the garage, which is amazing. Also, the MLO speed boost is amazing if you have MLO capable devices and it makes a tremendous difference in speed and latency. The TP-Link Deco app makes managing Wi-Fi 7 mesh system quite easy with lots of great options to control the mesh system along very capable parental controls to control each device in the network. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh is equipped with two 2.5G WAN slash LAN connections, so you can take full advantage of the fastest internet speeds offered by any internet service provider. And the best part is its price point at only $299 for three unit package at the time of this review. And it is hard to find any Wi-Fi 7 mesh system better at this price point. If you are in the market for a new Wi-Fi mesh system or Wi-Fi router with affordability in mind, I highly recommend TP-Link's new Deco B 5000 Wi-Fi 7 mesh system without breaking the bank. Let me know what you think of the review in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.